Hello, my lovely viewers. Welcome again to my Spanish and I. It is a very important time with you guys again. And um, today we have a question from simultaneous equation, also including the radical equation because of the root sign that we have. And uh, we are going to be seeing how we can solve problems like this. Okay, um, the question says it was x plus root y equal to 17 and x minus y equal to 17. We should solve for x and y. Now, how can we solve a question like this? Um, this is what you do. Okay, let us assume this is equation 1 and uh, this is equation 2. Now, from equation 2, you should understand that x can also be written as root x or squared. Because if square should come to our square root, we are going to get x. And also, y can also be written as root y or square. Because y, if square should come to our square root, we are also get we are also going to get y. So now what we are going to do now is this. We are going to be using root x or squared and root y or squared in place of x and y in equation 2. So if we do that, this is what we are going to get. Instead of x, we are going to say, um, okay, root x squared, root x squared minus y becomes root y squared. Okay, equals to, what do I have? 17. Now, from difference of two squares, which says uh, x squared minus y squared becomes um, x plus y and x minus y. This is what we're going to do. Yeah, here we also have a difference of two squares because root x and root y is currently squared and the sign separating is a minus sign. So what we're going to do is this. Root x raised to the power 2 minus root y raised to the power 2 because root x plus root y or root x minus root y okay, equal to 17. But don't forget that according to equation, in equation 1, root x plus root y is 17. So where I have root x plus root y, what am I going to be? 17. So here it comes, okay, 17 into the bracket of root x minus root y, okay, equal to 17. Now, of course, we also get root x minus root y as a subject of the formula. We have to divide both sides by 17. So here it comes about 17. And also here it becomes about 17. So when 17 should come to our 17, what do I have? Um, root x minus root y is equal to, okay, 17 divided by 17 gives us 1. So what we're going to do now, let us call this equation 3. Now, we are going to solve with equation 1 and equation 3 simultaneously. All right. Now, equation 1 says um, root x plus root y, okay? is equal to 17 and equation 3 says root x minus root y is equal to 1. So what we're going to do is this. Um, let us subtract. Now root x minus root x is 0, okay? But root y minus minus root y is 2y. Now, sorry, is 2 root y. Now how did I get 2 root y? Root minus times minus is plus. So root y plus root y gives us 2 root y. So here it becomes equal to 17 minus 1 gives us 16. And of course, if we should divide both sides by 2, root y, root y is equal to 8. Are you with me? Now, for us to get the value of y, y becomes 8 raised to the power 2. It says when the square root crosses an equality sign, it becomes a square. So now, 8 raised to the power 2 means 8 times 8. So therefore, y is equal to 64. Okay, now that we have gotten the value of y, what do we do next now? We are going to get the value of x. And how do we get the value of x? We can use equation 2, we can use equation 1, we can use equation 3. Any of the equations you use, you, can, you are also going to get the same answer. But I think the best equation to make use of is equation 2 because equation 2 is free. There is no roots, there is nothing. So using equation 2 which says, um, x minus y equal to 17. Now, y is 64. So here it becomes x minus 64 is equal to 17. And of course, it becomes x is equal to 17 plus 64. And so, when you add 17 and 64 together, you are going to get 81. So therefore, 
x is 81 and y is 64. Now, if you really want to cross check if it is correct, let's substitute into any of these. Now, um, if x is 81, square root of 81 is 9, plus if um, y is 64, square root of uh, 64 is 8, and of course 9 plus 8 is 17. So you see, this is how you can solve for x and y when a question like this is given. I hope you understood perfectly how we got our answers, but if there's a place you don't really understand, please leave a comment in the comment section and also you can write us on Facebook at Mathematics Booster. You can also join our um, Telegram channel. Just go and search for Jeff Nino Mathematics class and our channel will be right there with you and you can give the questions you want to ask. So I've come to the end of today's class. Thank you for being with me. Till we meet again in our next class, keep on watching Mathematics and, I, and keep on subscribing and keep on sharing our videos. Bye for now.